just don't even know what to do with that. So, here we go. My life on the homestead today. You know, last year the biggest problem was that we had no buildings and I really was frantic to try and get the buildings in so that the animals had shelter. Last June was horrible. If you go back to the videos of last June, the air conditioner on the camper broke. Uh, it was just heat wave after heat wave. Daisy had puppies. Um, that was an iconic, classic, classic moment in time for the, for the dog, the domestic dog. Turkish Kangal crossed Irish Wolfhound, not really ever done before. Amazing, beautiful pups came out of that litter. Um, and then this year, we've had buildings and fencing and gardening and things. And it's been so much that I haven't actually been able to do many videos. Um, uh, I don't know if any of you know, but I do suffer from complex PTSD and sometimes I get entirely and completely overwhelmed um, by things that normally wouldn't overwhelm me. So that's what's been going on. Anywho, uh, a week ago, we hauled in this 1976, by we I mean myself and the dogs, uh, we hauled in this 1976 mobile home. It will suffice the county's requirements for me for something that would be a suitable portable housing unit. Uh, and again, remember, my whole farm concept is use what you got. And uh, also, um, the whole farm is pretty much recycled or tossed away materials. The mobile home was free. Hello, welcome. But the uh, transport of it was not. And even though the transport company, which is amazing, if you want to know in Alberta, a good transport company for a building, please hit me up at cdgpermaculture at gmail.com. Um, Anywho, uh, the transportation of it was quite exorbitant in my financial world. So that's got me freaking out. But a lot of people have been asking for a tour of, of what, what's next. So I came out here to do this and I just want to show you that um, even though the animals have buildings, hang on, this is what I came out to. You know your horses are small when they fit underneath your house. And there's sheep under there, hiding. And stuff, because that's from that's the actual water pressure tank that came with it, but it's got a rusted valve, it's very old. We'll see what we can do with that. But the sheep are doing well. Um, there's Pickles the pig right there. Uh, but everybody's under the house. There's our tiniest little girl that was born a couple of weeks ago. Been trying to get her on her feet on camera so you can see how tiny she is, but she is so shy. She is just tiny, tiny, tiny. Hey, Reba. Reba needs her feet done again. Minu the cat. Again, this is Cluck Duck Goose. A lot of the animals here are restless. Uh, it is a sanctuary. I fund it all by myself. And uh, these are the these are the, the people <laughs> under the building. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this mobile home was moved here last, what, week? It came in on a trombone trailer. Uh, that meant that the trailer separated in the midsection to allow for the full 73 feet of this mobile home to be loaded on top of it. Um, and it was strapped over from the bottom to the top and around and down. Uh, there's video on it being transported, posted up. Thank you for the like. Uh, if you're commenting, I apologize. I can't see comments because, you know, I can't see anything. Um, but so some of the things that happened in transport. Uh, we can see that the tin has been lifted here on the siding. That's okay, though. It gives me a really good look at the structural beams of the floor and the walls. It's, I'm glad that this is already lifted up. I still can't get over that she's underneath here. Uh, this, is, this is interesting because I owned an old mobile home before, older than this one. And it did not have this belly wrap in here. And you can see how it's insulated. Mine did not have that. We also see there's water around that pipe there, so that's good. These are these are things we want to know without having to tear things apart. Tucker the Ram deciding that pink insulation is his favorite thing on the planet. I don't even know. Oh, okay. Well, that's the puppies chasing the pig that you hear in the background. Mayhem. Look how cool she is. She's just sitting there amidst, amid, amongst all the mayhem. She is just sitting there having a beautiful day. She is so cute. If you're in Canada, her hooves are about the size of a toonie. If you're in the States, that's like a little bit bigger than a quarter. Yeah. And Tucker's now peeing under the house. My life. Tucker, my ram. Okay, so in all the hubbaloo, 
there's more sheep, there's Fraser. Let's take a look at this building. So we know we can see some things underneath that. So that's okay. There's not actually a lot of damage that I'm seeing in this structural. It's, it's old, but it's not really wet, which is good. But I do know that I'm gonna have to do some subfloor work in here and some roofing work in here. Hello, everybody. Hi there. Welcome. Awesome. Ember. How's your baby today, Em? This is how I'm getting in here. God bless us. This could be difficult. I'm 51 if I fall down. Uh, if you know my children, call them. If you don't, just uh, call 911 and tell them some small blonde lady fell off a block somewhere in Alberta. They'll help me out. So <laughs> here we go, inside. Again, I'm standing on this thing to get in here. All right. Oh, by the way, thank you to my oldest daughter and her mother-in-law for these great little shoes. They're slip, slip on, flip floppy kind of running shoes. They're kind of neat. I like them. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Climb. Okay. We're in. We are in. Okay. So we're in the front door. Now we're going to go. This is the living room. It's actually not that bad. It's got some water damage in the floor. So a lot of subfloor, you can see it. Baseboards are wet. That tells me there's water in that wall. That wall's gonna have to come out. And the subfloor is all wrinkly. You can see the discoloration in the carpet. So obviously all this carpeting, subfloor most likely, definitely had some roofing issues in this, this room. So we're gonna have to pull apart that roof. I'm gonna have to do some research since these are the original 1976 ceiling tiles and make sure there's no asbestos in them. Uh, and then work with that once I have those answers. This is a really nice bay window um, that got dinged in transport. So you see it's cracked. Is it cracked? It's cracked, yeah. It got dinged in transport, so that's uh, not so bueno. Ah, but it's lovely in here. So this is not bad. This is the living room area. And I have placed it facing north. So in the summertime on this farm, I have a lot of heat coming from the south. So this will be good. I can open up windows here and get that cooler cross breeze cooling off the rest of the... So peek through into the kitchen. Coat closet. Kitchen. That's not bad. We can work with that. I can see my mother going through this video one day saying, oh, I do this and we can do that. I expect to get a phone call at some point. Um, she's amazing, my mom. Okay, so we definitely have some water damage in this wall. You can see that, right? The paint is telling the tale for us. Uh, but the flooring itself doesn't look like it's warbly or anything. It does look newer, but I don't think it's so new. You know what I mean? Uh, definitely water damage up there in that part of the ceiling. Hello, welcome. And definitely, obviously, ceiling damage in there, which means we have a roof leak. Uh, I was told all the electrical in here works. The refrigerator fits there. I'm told all of the appliances work. Uh, the fridge ended up sliding across. I know my hands are filthy. That's what happens when you're me. My mom is always saying, wear gloves, Dawn, wear gloves. It's never going to happen. <sighs> yeah, mind you, they said that I'd never wear pink, and I'm wearing a pink shirt, so, you know. So anyway, the fridge is there. It's, it's a fridge in air, and it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty newish. I'll have to take a better look at the stickers and stuff, but it's not an older fridge. That was in here, and the manual's in it, and it was free. But did I mention this building was free? Um, pantry? Stove? The stove is a push-button console, which means it's also, again, not necessarily that old. It's not a supermodel style, but, you know, Fraser's upset because I'm in here and he's out there. Double metal sinks, dishwasher. Hot point dishwasher. I was Again, I was told everything in here works. We have to go to the door for a second, guys. I apologize. Fraser. Fraser, I'm okay. It's okay, Fraser. The whole gang is here. Fraser, Wolfie, Bo, and Willow. Daisy's off because she knows that this is an impossible task. They all want in here to make sure I'm okay. Horses. Okay, so that's the kitchen. And I think it's a decent kitchen. We've got a broken glass pane here. But these windows are original 1976 slide-in windows. You can go to almost any scrapyard or reclaimed 
um, building materials store and get those for like cheap, cheap. One thing I want to note on this wall is look, the board here is broken. Now this is just commonplace baseboard. Uh, it's the kind that comes, this is the primer paint on it. Even they didn't, it's not been painted, but I'm always going to have to check and see if there's any kind of structural damage in this wall that has buckled that and made that break. Or maybe it's just in the window frame. Maybe it's the way the building settled. You know, it could be something like that. Uh, all right, so down here. Ceiling seems pretty good, which we, which tells me that there's not a lot of areas of damage of water in this part of the, well, the hallway anyway. Uh, little bedroom number one. Probably belonged to a little boy. That's typical 90. I think my, I gotta ask my mom about this wallpaper. That's some old style wallpaper. Okay, so let's look at the floor. Floor is not bad, all on the interior. Look, there's, you can't even see. Maybe there's a bit of staining of water up there. You see that brownish kind of stain there. That could be water. So again, somewhere we want to mark to look for leaks. That corner in the ceiling definitely has some kind of maybe moldy watery mark. Um, but the floor is pretty good in here on the interior. However, this wall has got some issues. We've got a crack again right underneath the window frame. It comes down and across, it runs down the wall. Now, one of the blessings is that this walling, this walling, this walling, this walling brought to you today by, this wall is um, paneling, not, uh, not uh, oh my good Lord, chip rock or drywall. So it'll be a lot, it, these are the seams, you pop these off, there's tiny little picture frame nails behind, and you take your hammer claw and go pop, 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 and the whole wall just comes off. Meaning the window is closed. But you can see there's definitely something going on. So that's bedroom number one. We definitely have some water damage in the six to river wall and possibly structural damage in it. Oh, we have to reassure the dogs again. Do, 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 do. Fraser, I'm fine. I'm fine, guys. I promise. It's all good. Say hi, everyone. I don't know if you guys can hear the ruckus in the background, but I can hear it. They're literally pawing. They paw at things to tell me they want stuff, and that's what they're doing. I don't want them hurting themselves. So we have the thermostat here, smoke alarm, furnace. Now, here's a really neat thing about this furnace. I'm off-grid, as you all know, and I don't have natural gas pipeline here. But if I chose to, especially as I get older, and God bless, I don't like being cold, let's face it. I could decide to get a propane tank. This furnace has already had its jets. That's the parts that provide the, the fuel to ignite. Um, the jets in this have been turned over and changed to propane. So that's an upgrade that I don't have to pay for. That was done by a li licensed person. So it will pass inspection. Um, and really it's simply that, you know, your, your typical furnace, you can turn to propane if you need to. Just food, food for thought. This is more modern. Hot Wheels. Yeah. Ooh, we got some damage in this room. We got some damage in this. Oh my lord. My lantern. Okay. This is gonna be fun. But really, it's lifting up the lino. I'm making more of it than I think maybe I need to. It's lifting up the lino, that wall paneling, the whole thing's coming off anyway. Uh, we're going to have to cut out the floor, the subfloor in here and put new subfloor. By the way, subfloor is just is just uh, plywood. Nothing scary. It comes in 4 by 8 sheets. Most of it, you don't even have to cut. You just pop it in and screw it down and nail it in. All right, hot water tank. Same thing has happened with this hot water tank. It has been converted to propane. So that's a beautiful thing too. Uh, but you'll notice here, now these, this is the electrical wiring for most likely hot water tank and possibly furnace. And you'll notice that there's some damage in here, much like in your you know, normal, normal house. There's always some kind of ick around the hot water tank floor. But obviously there's been something going on here, maybe a leak or something. And uh, this, so all this will have to be cleaned up and cut out and replaced. And of course, stickers are there, and I will investigate what age these appliances are. But yeah, that subfloor is squishy. It's squishy. Not good squishy. Bad squishy. They were kind enough to leave me some coffee tables in here. It's, I think Fraser is genuinely trying to jump in that door. There's a little closet, cupboards, I guess, in the hallway. Second door. The other mobile home I owned didn't have a second door. This is very cool. I like this for a safety feature. Front yard, backyard, you know. 
We've got, oh, 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 linen closet. Floor in the hallway is pretty decent. Bathroom. This surprised me. Like, this is a real bathroom. It's not a bad, but I can work with this. I can I can turn this into a movie star, rock star's bathroom in no time. Composting toilet. So my, I'm, oh, it's a jet tub. I just noticed that. Look at people. We have a jet tub. Oh, I even know how to wire those puppies. Mm-hmm. We have fun. So this tub surround has to obviously be ripped out. But the composting toilet's going in because as you guys know, I'm not putting in a well and I'm not putting in a septic field. So, okay. I'm excited about the bathtub. <laughs> oh, weird. I know. I'm okay, like the wallpaper. Mom, look, you'd love this. Look at it. I think we had that one in somebody's bedroom or something at once upon a time in, in a house when I was a child. Okay, so it's carpeted in here. Uh, fairly big closet, definitely water. Water, water. We got some water damage in here. So this part of the roof has issues and that could just be the roof that's leaking down to the floor or it could actually be we also have floor issues. And maybe we have floor issues because we had roof issues. So that'll have to be looked at. And it's, uh, oh, look at that, it's two closets. I only have me. So I can have my closet number one for all my tomboy clothes. And I can have my closet number two for all my clothes I'll never wear again. But you know, dang, there's a pretty dresses. Okay, uh, windows are good. Windows are good. Wonder why they've got all the registers. Oh, maybe they've got the registers covered like that. So mice didn't come in through the registers. That's a good idea because it was sitting for a while. So this is a master bedroom and it's in pretty good shape. So, oh, where's my hand? There it is, hi. Uh, I think this is a really good building. This was a free building, like let's remember that. Uh, it cost me $6,500 that I've pledged. Um, I mean donated, no, I mean pledged. What was that? Okay, yeah. Uh, to pay the trucking company. Um, but that was a, an original quote of 8,500 and that was the lowest quote that I got. And then after meeting me and realizing what I'm doing with, doing with the farm, he brought that down farther for me. So I'm very thankful for that. So that's the walkthrough in here. We got some work to do, but it's not going to be that horrible. And I actually think I can start transitioning into moving into this building sooner than I thought. Um, really. Really, truly. I mean, the other things we have to factor in are solar, the solar system has to come in, but I won't worry about that really until fall, I don't think. Composting toilet and skirting on it are the first things, um, the roof. The roof has to be done before there's any point in doing any of the interior work. Um, and there's many ways to fix this roof. Uh, I'm gonna go with the cheapy way because it works for me this year. And it, it outweighs the, the cost of having to do it a second time uh, better, differently, uh, uh, outweighs the, no, the time and grief it will cause me and stress, uh, by just doing it the cheap way this time will actually outweigh the, uh, the money at this point, which if you know me, I would rarely say that, but anyway, so I'm going to roll the roof. Uh, there's a plastic, uh, tar type thing you can roll the roof with. Um, so I'm going to roll the roof, then all the insulation will come out of the roof, all the walls will be opened up that seem to have damage to them, all the insulation in those walls will be done, then the flooring will be done, uh, the subfloor and whatnot, it will be done last. Um, while I'm at it, I'll be checking uh, electrical lines and uh, rerouting some things. A friend of mine's a Red Seal electrician, she's amazing, so I'll see if I can bug her and see her, see if she'll come. Um, but that'll be what, what pretty much happens in here. Again, I'm going to research these ceiling tiles because they are 76. I need to see when they stopped putting asbestos into ceiling tiles because they used to, it used to be in there in a big, huge way. So we'll have to deal with that one way or depending on, on whether the answer is yes, there's asbestos. So now, as we walk out the door, see, I still have one person in here. Somebody loves me. Um... We walk out the door, and I gotta get down there. And anybody who knows, I'm terrified of heights, so this will be fun. And all the horses are still under the house, and yeah. So we'll bring this closed enough that I can 
close it once I'm down there. I have to put, see, I have the modem here too. That, because my Wi-Fi is, is a portable modem out here. Okay, let's sit our purses down on the step here. My Lord. Anybody remember that I'm not 20 anymore? Okay, when I decide to do things like this without being prepared, can somebody reach out and tell a woman? Reminder. I know, I know. In some ways, I'm like three, right? I get it. But, um, oh my lord. My hips and joints and stuff, they're suffering right now. And I, I, I like, sitting down on the step. I'm like, oh my god. Help me. Help me. Woofy. Woof. You need to move. Woofy, move. Woofy, move. Woof. You need to move. Move, Woofy. Fraser, you need to finish your haircut. Minu, you can't be in here. Out you go. I know. Go on. All right. Well, that got the dog out of the box. All right. So now we're going to... I love my life. Okay. Now I have to get the door. I'm getting the door. We're closing the door. Tuck the modem under my arm. Pull the door closed. Good. All right. Now we have to get down off this damn box. <laughs> it's that time again when the Kijiji ping goes. Okay. Oh my lord. Okay. So yeah. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know what you think. Would you have gotten this thing for free? And paid $6,500 to move it here? And two grand worth of building blocks underneath it? as well as the rest of the work involved to turn this into what I think we're going to turn into a really nice house. I believe that baby horse is just the cutest creature on the planet. Really, I do. She's still just lying there, chilling. I love my babies. Hey, guys. Um, could we not get into the shed? Look, they're, they're, they're in the shed now. They're in the shed. Welcome to my world. Won't you come on in? Everybody's here. The whole family. Oh, my phone's, my finger's on the phone. Everybody's here. All that space for them to go and be free and do animal things. And uh, they all choose to stay with me way up here. Yeah. Way up here. What are you doing, Willow? Poor Fraser. He's got half a haircut right now. Hi, girls. How you doing? How you guys doing? Hi, babies. Hi, little babies. Yep, everybody's following me. There we go. It's like the Pied Piper. You guys are all dirty. I'm looking for somebody to come shear the sheep. Somebody was supposed to come and didn't. That's twice now. So I got four. Four furry babies that need to be shorn. The rest will shed out because they're hair sheep. Yeah. So. Thank you for watching. I'm Dawn. This is Cluck Duck Goose. That's a whole story all on its own. I thank you very much for being here. We got up to three viewers this time. I'm impressed. I think that's stellar, stellar. This is my, this is my rocket moment. Or not. Anyway, peace, love, God bless. Be kind to yourself. And please be kind to a stranger today. Say something nice. Open a door. Pick up a piece of garbage. Don't climb the neighbor's cherry trees. I don't know. Anyway, be well. Talk to you next time. Bye.